10 billionaires that live like poor people. One would expect that billionaires will all live an extravagant life. Perhaps spend a lot of money purchasing some of the luxuries they, they want at any time they want it. Well, sorry to burst your bubbles, but not every billionaire is interested in such lifestyles. Some just live life as simple as possible. They can almost be regarded as poor people because of the simple lifestyle they have chosen for themselves. However, you need to understand that choosing to live a simple life, ditching all the expensive cars, jet, yacht, and the likes, appearing to work in a casual t-shirt and, and jeans doesn't make them poor people. The word poor in this context is subjective. It means choosing to go for things that are of good quality and well affordable in place of the very expensive ones that they can equally afford with no sweat. Anyway, in this video, we will be sharing with you 10 billionaires that live like poor people. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Warren Buffett, Chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway According to Forbes, Buffett is worth over $80 billion, making him one of the 10 richest people in the world. But guess what? He still lives in the same modest home he bought for $31,500 in 1958, doesn't carry a cell phone or have a computer at his desk. He doesn't own a yacht because according to him, most toys are just a pain in the neck. Once upon a time, when his friend of 25 years, Bill Gates, visited Omaha. Surprisingly, Buffett picked Gates up from the airport himself. Sometime back in 2014, at its annual shareholders meeting, Buffett explained that his choice of life isn't in any way affected by the amount of money he has. My life couldn't be happier. In fact, I'd be worse if I had six or eight houses. So, I have everything I need to have and I don't need any more because it doesn't make a difference after a point. 2. Mark Zuckerberg, Founder and CEO of Facebook Zuckerberg, the mastermind behind Facebook, has a net worth of over $73 billion. With all his wealth, Zuckerberg is well known for his t-shirts, jeans, and hoodie dress code to work every day. According to him, I really want to clear my life to make it so that I have to make as few decisions as possible about anything except how to best serve this community. Zuckerberg reportedly drove an Acura because it's safe and not ostentatious until he recently traded it for a manual transmission Volkswagen hatchback in 2014. Shortly after his wedding to his wife Chan, Zuckerberg upgraded to a $7 million house in Palo Alto, an apartment which the Los Angeles Times called the home still well below his means considering his net worth. 3. Azim Premji Chairman of Wipro Limited The 70-year-old India's wealthiest tech tycoon is worth $16.6 billion. Premji Fly's economy often takes a three-wheel auto rickshaw from the Bangalore airport when returning from business trips and drives second-hand cars. According to a 2003 Business Week profile, he drives a 1996 Ford. Also, Premji is said to monitor the number of toilet paper rolls used in Wipro facilities and always reminds employees to turn off the lights before leaving their offices. Ingva Kamprad, Founder of iCare Kamprad is one of the richest people in Europe with a net worth of $39.3 billion. He flies economy, drives a 20-year-old Volvo, frequently rides the bus and even eats lunch with other members of staff in iCare's cafeteria. 5. Carlos Slim Hello, Chairman and CEO of Telmex The 76-year-old, which is by far the richest man in Mexico, has an estimated net worth of $60 billion. The self-made billionaire believes that what you have to do is make it grow, reinvest to make it bigger, or diversify into other areas. Slim reportedly still lives in the same six-bedroom house in Mexico for more than 40 years routinely enjoying sharing home-cooked meals with his children and grandchildren. Also, he still drives himself to work in an old Mercedes-Benz. 6. Amancio Ortega, Founder of Zara 
Ortega's net worth is estimated around $71.1 billion and is named the second richest person on earth as at the time of making this video. The Spanish fashion magnate like Zuckerberg maintains a simp uniform to work daily. He often puts on a blue blazer, white t-shirt and grey pants. Ortega and his wife live in a discreet apartment building in La Coruña, Spain. He frequently visits the same coffee shop and eats lunch with his employees in the Zara headquarters cafeteria. Although he owns a $45 million Bombardier private jet, he doesn't travel often because he's too busy working. 7. Christy Walton – Heir to Walmart Fortune John T. Walton, one of the sons of Walmart founder Sam Walton, was married to Christy Walton before he died. Walton, who has a net worth of $27.9 billion, however, wanted a normal upbringing for his son so she raised him in an 1896 Victorian home in National City, Calif, outside of San Diego. Also, after the demise of her husband, Walton donated the home to the International Community Foundation, Center for Cross-Border Philanthropy. 8. Charlie Egan, Chairman of Dish Network Egan, the self-made billionaire, still packs a lunch of a sandwich and Gatorade to work every day and until recently, he shared hotel rooms with colleagues during travel. 9. David Cheriton Cheriton is a Stanford professor who has an estimated net worth of $1.1 billion from Google shares. Cheriton hates the idea of living like a billionaire and according to him, I'm actually quite offended by that sort of thing, he says. These people who build houses with 13 bathrooms and so on, there's nothing wrong with them. Cheriton has lived in the same house since 1981 and he still drives a 1986 Volkswagen. 10. Judy Faulkner Founder of Epic Systems Faulkner is a software programmer who built Epic, a private healthcare company that sells medical records software. Her estimated net worth is $2.5 billion. The 72-year-old has had only two cars in the past 15 years and has lived with her husband in the same Madison, Wisconsin suburb for nearly three decades. In a letter she wrote sometime in May 2015, Faulkner said, I never had any personal desire to be a wealthy billionaire living lavishly. Instead, she will use her money to help others gain access to food, warmth, shelter, healthcare and education. Thank you for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we unpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.